Before you go, before we all go, actually, yeah. um, did you want to reveal your gender? So, um, I know, like... Oh! oh. Damn. Tune in next time for a face review. <laughs> Three, two, two one. one. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to season two, episode four of From the Ground Up podcast. Let's go. I am Let's here, go. your one and only, and I am also queer. Me, Hucker, <laughs> me, Hucker, aka the Lunar Kid, Double D, yes. aka Mr. I Don't Look That Good Today because we have a very special <laughs> over in the corner that you can't see, <laughs> aka That's All I Have. So, next, please. Belt. Yeah, see, we have myself, Bells, aka shout out to Capiso, aka shout out to the team from From the Ground Up. Let's go. AKA. Flip the table. <laughs> uh, yes, no. <laughs> All right, yes. enough of you. My turn. <laughs> What's Bye. up, everyone? It's your girl, Nibs, aka that girl. Yeah. yeah. AKA episode four, one, four, fuck them all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's go. All right, guys, welcome back to From the Ground Up podcast. Here we have a very special guest. We've been meaning to have this person on for a very long time. This person is responsible for all the great artwork you've been seeing in the culture lately. Hundreds. Uh, Photography-wise, they've done a lot of work within the culture, all mm-hmm. the popping artists. For the most part, it's going to be her. No! <laughs> bleep that out, bleep that out. Were, yeah, bleep it out, bleep it out. Yeah, bleep yeah. that out. We have a very special guest, Kumahani. Let's go. Hi, guys. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's an honour, it's an honour. Yeah, I mean, yes. if you'd like to introduce yourself and how to actually pronounce your name yeah. to all the bitches out there. <laughs> yeah, so my name is uh, Kumahani, but on my Instagram, a lot of people kind of get it wrong and they say Kumahanik because mm-hmm. of the K at the end. But the K at the end is just for my last name. But yeah, so the way you say my name is Kumahani. Yeah. Nice, nice. nice. Even I have difficulty Yeah, I got that wrong sometimes. as well. I was yeah. pronouncing the K. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, did anybody call you by a short name? Uh, K. Yeah, <laughs> everyone just says K, like I prefer if people don't know how to say my name, just to say K. <laughs> but like if you do get it wrong, like I don't, I don't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know people are going to get it wrong, so yeah, yeah. it's Boy okay. I mean, it's yeah. difficult. <laughs> You're asking for a lot. No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? It's okay, it's not okay. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I don't mind. Before we jump into our podcast, we're going to have a little icebreaker game quiz sort of mm-hmm. thing, like we do every other episode. <laughs> and I'm going to win. So are we the Lunar Girls again? Yeah. We're yeah. the Lunar Girls. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be? Do you want to be uh, Lunar Boys? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> all right. So our buzz is... Luna Girls. Luna Girls. Luna Girls. Okay. Yours is Luna Boys? Yeah. Okay. Give yeah. it simple. Make it easy. All right. Yo, bring okay. it. Okay. Easy lalos, no. Walk through seven teenagers. Luna Girls. Shit. Oh, crap. Sorry. Go again. The Freedom oh, Fighters. Does that mean yeah, we get to answer did. it? The Freedom Fighters. <laughs> <laughs> Bam, bam, point to us. We've got some <laughs> false advertisement going on. Artists created Campbell's food Luna Girls. Andy Warhol. Yeah. Oh, I swear, I didn't know that. Yeah. Now you do. <laughs> Losers. Oh, <that's> <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything, so to be honest. Start, <laughs> didn't get the head start. get the head start. Luna Girls. Oh. Is this Luna Avatar boys. related? <laughs> <laughs> Luna Boys. <laughs> um, it's located in Italy. Yes. Oh, mm. I was going to say, I should know. I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> get it. You went to Italy. No? Yes, I did, bitches. <laughs> Help. We're going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> He's already dead. <laughs> Whitney Houston's rendition of I Will Always Love You shot into the charts in 1992 after it was featured in which Hollywood film? Uh, Luna Boys. Five. <laughs> <laughs> I, the I, I don't know. <laughs> Is it the bodyguard? Yes. Oh, yeah, nice. nice. 
<laughs> How many permanent teeth does a dog have? Luna girls. I didn't mean what you said. How many permanent teeth does a dog have? How many what? Permanent teeth. Oh. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Oh. Um, wow. Well. Luna boys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's <was> thirty-two. <laughs> Luna girls. <laughs> Two. Two. Sixty. Luna boys, four. Oh, Luna girls, forty-six. Oh, Luna girls. Uh, Do you want to guess? Fifty. <laughs> Fifty. Fifty. Luna girls. Forty-nine. Forty-two. Yes. Oh, oh nice. Yes. Mm. Yes. Nice, nice. <laughs> Winners. <laughs> <Woo>! Victory. <laughs> Go the Luna Girls. <laughs> what was the answer, 42? Yes, it was. Nice. Bells. <laughs> We're learning yep. today. We are definitely learning and we are not cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, James. No. <laughs> so, guys, um, did you want to kind of get into... Um, your ethnicity and where you were raised and mm-hmm. how your childhood, wa- um, childhood was. That's the question we got as well. Yeah. What, mm-hmm. what was your ethnicity? Oh, yeah. so my background, I am a Cook Islander. Shout out. Um, Shout out. <laughs> Shout out. So I was born overseas in the islands and I moved to Australia when I was two. Wow. So oh, yeah. I've grew up in Sydney literally my whole life. So um, I guess where I grew up in was Mount Jewett. So I am from, I guess, the 27th. <laughs> Shout out to the area. Hey, Let's go. 27th. Yeah, so I've been, I've been in Mount Jewett like literally my whole life. Um, until recently, I've just moved out, but only just down the road to like Blacktown. So it's yeah. Oh, yeah, not still, that far. Yeah, it's still the same. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so when, when I first got here, I lived in Edmonton. <laughs> Shout hey, out to Edmonton. Yeah. It's getting, getting rebuilt. <laughs> yes, it is. So it was, it was kind of like, um, as I said, that my beginning was with Spot the Difference. Mm-hmm. Um, so being back in, in my own area where I started, mm. it was kind of kind of like a flashback, I guess. Bittersweet moment. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because when I lived there, like, I lived in the units over there. So oh, my whole family yeah. was there. <laughs> yeah, so my oh, whole family okay. was there. So just seeing everybody out there, like, mm. in an in area that I grew yeah. up in. Mm. In the yeah. front or in the back in Sheila the Place? Back, the back. Shout Sheila. out to Sheila Place. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila Place. Yeah. Yeah, so what cookie hasn't lived there? <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yeah. The whole fam's is there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're the still there. Is there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, so that's, so that's where where I literally grew up when I first came here. So I went to like Emerson Public School mm. and. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, I remember you saying that. Sorry. Like, from then, I've just literally lived in, like, Hasselgrove, so it's still around the area. Hassel. And I went to Hasselgrove par- uh, par- Primary School. Yeah. And then I moved to Old Mount Shout out so, to Old Mount oh. They got that bakery yeah. over there. If you know, you <laughs> know. <laughs> yeah, so I've been living, like, on the other side of the train station from Mount mm. for, like, a really long time. So maybe eight to nine years or something like that. Wow. So... Yeah. It's, it's weird that we've never come in <laughs> yeah. contact. Yeah, with I know. Do you know what? Yeah. I stayed in Old Man Jewel too. Yeah. Where'd you stay in New Dimensions or I stayed near the house? park. So the park. Oh, there's like this really yeah. big park. Yeah. Um mm. if you walk like over the station, Baines? It's like um Miller oh, Street. Oh yeah, I know yeah, which yeah. one you're talking yeah. about. So okay. everybody goes to this park, like if you're from Mount Jewel, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know this big park. Oi, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it Mitchell training ground? Yeah. Mitchell uh, Brew Training Ground, that one? Nah. Or the one more. You know where at the back, hey, like so the stations there, and mm-hmm. then like the say the taxi stands on the other side, mm-hmm. and then the parks like in the streets behind it. Is it that one? It There's so be. many parks. Or is it the one like opposite yeah, Bunnings? So like if you're like walking over from the shops to on go, that bridge? yeah, and then down the bridge, mm. and um, it's like six streets down, oh, and there's Bains. this massive um park yeah. there. It's oh, like a okay. soccer field. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, soccer it's, field yeah, and like yeah. a cricket mm-hmm. field and there's like a park in the middle of it. Yeah. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's <clears> the main. Yeah, yeah. I don't know which mm. one that one is. Yeah, so I lived I lived around there. Mm. So. Yeah. And the that's schools I went to <laughs> the schools I went to out there, because um, I guess this is why we haven't seen each other or ran each other mm. ran into each other's cause I went to St. Agnes Catholic High School. Oh, a lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then oh, okay. after that I went to St. Mary's. 
So oh, okay. senior. Yeah, semi yeah. senior. So I was never like in the like chiefly. Yeah, or? never yeah, around yeah, like yeah, chiefly okay. and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. I only yeah. knew like those at Leola. Yeah, and then yeah. those from my own school. So. Yeah, I yeah. feel like whenever people go to Loyola or St. Agnes, it's like a totally different, like, yeah. <laughs> I don't different know, culture. we don't really interact. <laughs> oh, like. mm. Are they private schools? Uh, yeah, Catholic, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know them. <laughs> Shout nah. out to the public schools. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we probably didn't see you. Like, was your face covered like this? Or? No. <laughs> Not at all. And it's funny because, like, I knew both of you. Who? These two right here. Wow. <laughs> like, I've seen you guys back then. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. I know, I'm like, I'm you didn't sure know you me? To, like, no. <laughs> you sports, right? Cool sports? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then you were, like, chiefly or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I've seen you guys around. Oh. But we're, we're pretty popular. We're pretty popular. <laughs> Give me some of that. Wow. <laughs> we should have been the Luna Boys. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure you've seen me back then. <laughs> I'm sure you know me. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, true. Mm. Yeah. But just yeah. just to go back a little bit. Um, <laughs> I think we'll, we'll talk a bit later with the whole photography or career mm-hmm. and that. But, um, you know, that moment was it kind of emotional maybe later on. From you to grow up in Edmonton, then leave, and then end up doing such a like big work, monumental, yeah, yeah like yeah. you know, like artwork there. Mm. Yeah, it was because like I I grew up there. Like I'm there when I'm like two years old up mm. until like I'm five or six. So being back at the shops, and I know they upgraded the shops too. So that yeah. was mm-hmm. that was good to see. Yeah, bro, <laughs> yeah. about like, time. It's so yeah. Clean. <laughs> So that was good to see. So, like, anything that comes out of, like, Edmonton, like, how iconic Spot the Difference was mm. in Edmonton yeah. and how they've upgraded it as well, it's kind of makes me feel happy about being from there. Yeah, mm. like, proud. Yeah, yeah, being proud of it, being proud of the people that are from there as mm. well. Mm. Um, because if you ever, like, go out that area, you know it doesn't, like, look feel as like good home, as it does. Yeah. 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 So when anything good comes out of it, You'd be proud about it. Yeah, so. of course. 100%. Oh, that's cool for it to come back full circle. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did you um, get emotional, like, later on or, like, at the time when you were working? I think when I was working there, like, I don't think I was emotional at that moment. Yeah. Um, I think it's just reflecting back on it now, how big of an impact it has been. Mm. Um, but in that moment, I was more, like, kind of scared because there were so many people around. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to ask true. that, too. Yeah. I was so scared that there were so many people around, but because I knew my cousins were there, mm. and like my other cousin, she just came down from her house in her car. She stopped <laughs> right behind me. She's like, "What are you guys doing?" I was like, "What are you doing here?" <laughs> um, Get yeah. my money. <laughs> <laughs> like my family, they literally just live down the road, and to have them just drive and say, "Oh, what are you guys doing?" Like yeah. we're just trying to make a like music video. Yeah. And she kind of stayed for a bit in her car, like blocking. It. <laughs> Everyone, <laughs> like it was literally right behind me. I was like, um, you kind of need to move. <laughs> Go away. Um, yeah, but I just feel like everyone on that day, like they were just all like close mm. family knit kind of people. Um, and it showed throughout the whole video as well. Like yeah. it's just the boys being their boys, mm. and like, yeah, it's just how I remembered being down in Edmonton as well because. Mm. Like, a lot of my family lived in the units out there. So, we're mm. all together. We're all playing together. Yeah. And that kind of just, yeah, brought back the memories from that. Oh, Yeah. God. Nice yeah. nostalgia. That's beautiful. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you miss it? Do you miss, like, or are you happy that you're, like, out of the area now? Or, like, not really out of the area, but, like, you're pretty much in Blacktown. Like, yeah. do you miss being local? I do, actually, because mm. a lot of my family, they're still out that way. Mm. So, we'd still have to, like drive 20 to 30 minutes to get to them yeah. Yeah. and they had to like drive 20 to 30 minutes to get to us but most of my family they still do live down there Yeah. Mm. so I kind of do miss it because we're, we're really tight knit as well we like to be together mm. um, so we do visit like here and there but I'd like to be just like a walk down from yeah. there yeah. <laughs> like before like yeah. a Sheila place you can just literally yeah, walk seriously. to the next house <laughs> yeah. yeah so that's that's the thing that I miss is like just being able to walk over to mm. my cousins and that because mm. we were so close yeah from when we first came here so yeah you know, yeah. sorry no you go you go no, no go, you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying no, anything <laughs> no I, I was just gonna say um being so heavily involved in the culture now mm-hmm. um 
do you ever like taking moments when you're at a shoot and you're like, man, I can't believe I'm seeing this? Yeah, or they're... like witnessing like you know the growth that they've like had, like that they're having. Yeah, so the stuff that um, in situations where I've been in, mm. um, feeling that kind of way is when. I travelled with One Four to Brisbane, oh, and nice. I also went with them to New Zealand. New Zealand, yeah. 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 How so, was that ah. experience for you? It, it was really different. Like, mm. um, like I've travelled for like doing weddings and stuff. So, mm. I've been to like the Hunter Valley and all that kind of stuff. But going to a different state and mm. going to a different country yeah. to shoot music scene, like to yeah. shoot concerts for and work. stuff. Yeah, yeah. It it was like you're working, but you're not really working. Mm. Yeah. So it was kind of like because um, it's your passion. And yeah, you love yeah. It. it's fun. Yeah. yeah, so it was doing something for fun around the people who actually appreciate mm. you as well. Yeah, and like the people you call your family as well. Mm. So it was it was a good experience, and those are the moments I was just like, bro, yeah. I can't believe it. Yeah, <laughs> like That's I'm actually so cool. here. Yeah, and during that time in Brisbane, like I met HP boys as well. Shout no, out to shout out. HP yeah. boys. <laughs> shout out to them. <laughs> yeah, so it. Would, like, just meeting different people, going to different places, and seeing, I guess, um, the fans' reactions to seeing yeah. their idols and stuff, yeah. That that's also, like, um, something I've always, mm. like, I guess, been impacted by, because, yeah. like, a lot of these people, they just see them on the internet. Hundred, yeah. And, like, actually getting them, and I know there's been issues with getting the boys to do shows and stuff, mm. so when the boys were actually able to do their shows, like, a lot of people turned out for them. Yeah. yeah. So, so much love for them. Yeah. Like, mm. So Brisbane and both New Zealand, they had a lot of people out there supporting the boys, even though there was, you know, stuff going on that mm. it was out of our control. Yeah. Because um, they just get stopped at the airport. Yeah. 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 So that was, that was pretty hard because, like, a couple of the boys were getting sentenced on that day. And yeah. the day in New Zealand, a couple of the boys um, were going through their sentencing. Mm. And then... Unfortunately, James couldn't come into yeah. um, New Zealand to perform with um, with Spenny. So that was that was tough on everyone. Yeah. Like we all went through rehearsals and everything just to try and get to this moment yeah. for them to perform like in New Zealand. Hundred, oh, that so. would have been so devastating too for yeah, them. Especially yeah. getting knocked back yeah. from all of the Australian shows. And yeah. Mm. And it's crazy because they want them off the streets, but they won't give them the chance to better yeah. themselves, yeah. you know? Like, so it's so crazy they get held back. Yeah, so it, w- it was really tough that day. Mm. But, um, you know, Spenny stuck it through for everybody. 100. And he put on that show. And His was, energy yeah. when he came yeah. out was a vibe. Uh, yeah. Like, oh, I've seen videos. I wasn't there, but I've seen videos. <laughs> <laughs> I should have been there. No? But, yeah, like, it was so crazy, man. Yeah, it, w- it was such a, a crazy year. A crazy event. Mm. And having everybody who knew that only Spenny could show up, yeah. like, they still supported him. They yeah. st- still supported all the boys. Mm. Yeah. Um, so it was it was good to see that. Um, but, yeah, it's it's been crazy. Mm. <laughs> show must go on, hey? Yeah. 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 Wow, that's so mad. And how crazy for you to witness everything. Like, that yeah. would have been so good. Yeah, being through everything. Like, I've learned a lot. Mm. Like, I've learned a lot of... Um, Lessons about my work as well, mm-hmm. but also personal, like, life lessons, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So just watching everybody, watching everything unfold. Like, it's taught me a lot of things mm, about yeah. the industry and about, I guess, the police and, yeah. you know, all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm. So it's been crazy, but it's been, like, grateful, grateful mm. months in months in a year that yeah. I've been doing this with, with everybody, so... You know, in saying that, um, like saying you saying like you've learned a lot about police and everything and watching everything unfold. Um, were you ever, would you say, around that growing up, or like, mm. in, like, did you ever see it for yourself, like, be, without being with them, like the police stuff? Yeah. Um, yes, I mm. guess. Because uh, like my upbringing, it hasn't always been like rainbows and fairies and mm. all that kind of stuff, like. There's, there's stuff that I've been through that um, no one would, um, I guess, know unless they ask me. Mm. Um, but, like, I've been around, like, alcoholics. I've been around mm. abuse and all that kind of stuff. Uh, domestic abuse, not really physical abuse to mm. myself. But, like, I've, I've seen a lot. I've heard a lot. Mm. And there has been situations where police have come around. But I was too young to understand. Yeah. Um, but there has been moments where, mm. where they were there. But... I just, I guess, 
yeah, young mm-hmm. to kind of figure out what was going yeah. on and to understand, yeah, yeah, the consequences and all that kind of stuff. Mm. So yeah, it's crazy, hey. Mm. <clears throat> That's good, hey, to get um your whole backstory. Yeah, because you got such you a big even, following. Yeah, and, you, you wouldn't you know even know think I mean? that. a lot of support. Yeah, you're like yeah. the main. You're the main person, for the culture, pretty much. Yeah, or yeah. the yeah, or the um, crazy music scene mm. happening. You're pretty much um, we say like the pinnacle of photography. <laughs> I would yeah. say. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> you know, um, you know when you're out there and you mm-hmm. like um, is like. Do you ever think to yourself like, damn, like I can't believe I'm doing this? Like, because did you ever imagine in your life you were gonna be where you are today? Uh, not in the music scene, no. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like. As I said, like, I've been shooting a lot of weddings and yeah. I've been doing all that boring stuff. Like, it was repetitive for me. Mm. Um, so I kind of wanted to try something different. So being introduced to the music scene, it's it's really different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, the different personalities you meet, mm. like, the different music genres that you can hear from other artists yeah. and the ideas that they have for their music videos. Mm. And it's, it's just different every time. Like, weddings... It's like a reception, a ceremony, like you know what's yeah. the deal. Like yeah, you know from formal. start, yeah, mm. you know from start to to the end what you're what you're expected yeah. to do. But with the music scene, it's unpredictable. Mm. Yeah. Um. So you don't know if you're gonna be like shooting from inside a car, or you're gonna be like shooting with like flares and all this yeah. kind of stuff. Like <laughs> it, it's been Spike crazy everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Like it's been crazy and it's been different, but mm. it's. It's also been... Um, a blessing. Yeah, yeah, a blessing. And another thing that I've learned about myself as a photographer, mm. but also as a person. Yeah. Um, because the music scene, it's really... It's kind of cutthroat industry, as well. Yeah, yeah so yeah. the industry, it, it is cutthroat. And I'm not saying that um, the artists and the expectations. It's more to do with, um, I guess, the fans. <laughs> like oh, the yeah. backlash so, you would get. Yeah, yeah. so just like... Um, I guess all the area stuff. Oh, like, yeah. I'm so yeah. glad that you're bringing this up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that that's what I mean by it's cutthroat because mm. a lot of people want you to be to one side and not mm. to be, like, both sides or all four sides or yeah. whatever it might be. Um, but when I started, I started with 1-4. So I only worked with 1-4 yeah. or anyone that was, like, friends with them or, like, on the 27 side, I guess, I mm. worked with a lot of them. And the only reason why that is is because I had a lot of respect for one four. Yeah. So I didn't want to do anything that would um, make upset them think them that, or, yeah, yeah, either upset them or I didn't want to walk all over them mm-hmm. because, them. yeah, because they're the ones that gave me the platform that I'm on. Yeah. yeah. And like invited me to go to mm. like music shoots, to go to rehearsals and yeah. studio time. Like I did a lot with one four. Mm. That's why I respected them and I wanted to stay. Just to Loyal, them, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was nothing to do about choosing any size, but mm. more just being respectful. Yeah. yeah, of course. And I need people to understand that because a lot of the comments that I got, like, after I said I wasn't working with 1-4, mm-hmm. people thought that I was choosing sides. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that I didn't work with them because I shot with somebody else. Mm. Um, but at that moment, I actually wasn't working with 1-4. Yeah. So I was able to actually... Reach yeah. out and work with other people. And expand. Yeah. 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 It's at the end of the day, um, you got to look out for yourself mm-hmm. and you got to make money. So I'm sure the boys would understand, like, yeah. growing up in the streets. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's hard to find a sustainable career. Mm-hmm. So I'm sure they understand that. It's just, you know, you got to chase your dreams and, you know, make money for your family. Yeah. So that's heaps good. Um, come on here and clarify it. So there's a lot of people are so interested in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's yeah. A, like, a lot of people are interested in like whose side that I'm taking. Yeah. Um, I'm taking my own side. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, I am a photographer. This is my job. Mm. Um, if I'm no longer working with somebody, it doesn't mean we had like bad, bad blood. blood. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like we finished on a, like a good note. Mm. There was time yeah. for growth for myself to like I love expand, that. Yeah, and more. there was also time for them to to move on. And I guess. It's great for them to find other creatives as well, mm. so I'm not the only one. Yeah. Because yeah. One Four is a big group. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, they deserve to have other creatives as well mm. under them to to work with them. Yeah. So I'm glad that I had the the couple of months that I did with them. Mm. Yeah. I'm glad that I went and experienced a lot with them. But and I'm also glad that we've ended on a good note. Hundreds. And that I yeah. can 
go and work with other people. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Have you seen them since? I see them a couple of times. Yeah. Um, only if I'm shooting with like other people, mm. they'll be there as well. Yeah. So we still say hi. We still say how's it going. Yeah. yeah. So we're, we're we're still good. Yeah, it's good um, vibes and good yeah. love. Yeah. yeah. So we're we're still okay. Mm. Um, a lot of the people they they don't think we're we're not okay because yeah. you know there's stuff that I've been doing or yeah. whatever these people have in their and minds. They don't see you <laughs> shooting them. Like yeah. Mm. Well. So even if I'm not shooting them, like we're we're still good. Yeah. Okay. I still support them. Yeah. Like yeah. I'll always support them because they were my beginning yeah. to this music scene. Yeah. Mm. So regardless of anything, whoever I'm shooting with, they they all understand that mm. I can support. Like whoever I want, 100. and it's up to you to either take that or Do interpret it. some other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So just um, <clears throat> to touch on your relationship with um, One Four a bit. Um, how was the whole like because they're so big mm. and you got you know very lucky to, and privileged to have opportunity of your first um, kind of welcome into the whole music scene. Mm. How was the bond? With them, like growing with them and traveling, were they like you know feel like an like older brother kind of thing? Yeah. Or, like you know always, you know making sure you're right when you're traveling. Yeah. That kind of um stuff. Yeah, they. I saw them as brothers, like all of them. They they were so kind, they were so nice, they were inviting. Um, they're always making sure I'm okay. So the relationship we had were like brothers and sisters, mm. like we're family. Mm. So like. I've been to their house, mm-hmm. I've like taken them home. Like yeah. we've we've had that relationship. Yeah. Um it wasn't always a business relationship. Like when it came time for me to do my business stuff with them, like do photos, then we'd be professional about it. Yeah. But even when we're professional, we're still like having a laugh. Having fun, yeah. yeah. We're still having a laugh, we're having fun, we're mm. just you know, picking at each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been fun to meet all of them. Um YP, JM, since many. Like they're just they're just really they're grounded mm. like yeah. they're grounded yeah. boys mm. and they work they work hard mm. so it was it was nice to be in in their world to kind of see mm. the stuff that they go through yeah. like the ideas that they have for yeah like their music videos and to see them in the studio writing as well yeah. like they're really creative. Who was your and, favorite? Um, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people. <laughs> 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 Who was your favorite? <laughs> um, I'd say. I'd say Spenny. Spenny Shout would be out my to Spenny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A lot of people. Oh, oh, oh. So much energy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, and that's why I like Spenny because Spenny has a lot of energy. Yeah. yeah. Like, you want to be around someone who has, like, that much energy to keep everything going. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not saying that all the other boys don't have energy. They just, they have their own, yeah. like, they're themselves in their own way. Just yeah. the one that you gravitate to. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, a lot of people think that um, I would pick YP, I guess. Because <laughs> you're bellied up <laughs> <laughs> But me and YP's relationship Like we're all brothers and sisters as well You know yep. And he's he's also great at what he does And James is also good at what mm. he does um, But yeah Spenny He's just different <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the one four boys Shout out yeah, That's so cool to hear um, You know that they were t- Like everything was good And yeah. even though they are the biggest You know They're I think you I think you done mm-hmm. Their work justice, yeah, you know, man, all your photography Thanks. skills matches, you know, yeah, um, the good quality. Even though it is your first time jumping <laughs> into the music scene, so good on you. Thank it you. It must yeah, have been a lot of pressure. You. The accomplishments that you've made, like mm. in such a short time, like yeah. And we haven't even known each other for so long, but mm. like I feel like yeah. I'm so proud of you. Like, oh, hundred yeah, percent. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. yeah. In the gang. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's cool. Yeah, yeah for sure. Should and it's. Oh uh, well, sorry. No, you go. Go, go. <laughs> That's a question. No, yeah, I was just, yeah, I was just saying, like, we're super proud of you. I know, like, yeah, like Mihaku was saying, mm. we haven't known each other for long. Yeah. But what you're doing is so big for the community mm. and just Thank big you. for yourself yeah. and, oh, and your family, true. your household. Yeah, so big ups to you. Let's yeah. get her out of the floors. Let's go. <laughs> All the bitches in the back. <laughs> <laughs> With the whole, like, going off the whole area thing, mm-hmm. um, how did you oh, feel yeah. personally before, like, stepping over into another area, code? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, literally, when I started with One Four, I knew nothing about this area stuff. Yeah. And the only way... Um, Even growing up in the area? Like, yeah. You like, know? I knew nothing. Okay. Like... The schools I came from. <laughs> no Nazi. <laughs> no school. 
<laughs> no fizzy <fizzy-tube>. today. <laughs> <laughs> like the schools that I came from Like you, you would know I know nothing Like I came from St. Agnes and St. Mary's like, yeah. I knew nothing about what was going on Yeah so like I knew nothing about that um, mm. The only reason why I knew about it It was because Like it's all over Instagram yeah. Yeah. Like it's all over social media And the only way you can be about it Is by knowing it through social media yeah. um, So it was the influence of social media That actually kind of told me, oh, I should be, like, one side mm-hmm. when I shouldn't. Oh, like, okay, yeah. So, knowing... So, I had to research it myself. I was just like, what the oh, heck is okay. going on? Oh, no way. So, you're feeling yeah. pressured, like, am I supposed to stay yeah. here? Yeah. So, I was just like, what the heck is going on? Like, mm. who's one for, who's 20, 21, and, like, yeah. who's yeah. all these people? Because, like, everyone was new. And, like, because yeah, I didn't know yeah, the beef, um, if it was old or whatnot, like, oh, yeah, I didn't know what I was years. supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to to look it up, see what was going on, and you know, be respectful mm. for the people that I'm working with. Yeah. Um, but like, in saying that, because because I left one four, well, yeah, because I left one four. Um, as I said, we did end on on a good note. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like we had no bad blood. It was just time for us to to kind of move on. Mm. Yeah. So I saw that as a way for me to expand. Yeah. And in saying that, I was then able to work with everybody else. Mm. Yeah, 100, get your bag, man. Yeah, mm. so I was able to then work with, like, Young and Lips, yeah. Pistol Shout Pete out. and Enzo. Yeah. Shout out. Shout out. Yeah, so even, like, Hooligan Hefts and, like, yeah. just... Shout, Shout out to all out. those artists. Yeah. yeah just, just Building the culture as well. Exactly. So there's been a lot of new people that's been coming out to the scene. And some people might see it as rivals to, mm. to one for. Um, but I I only saw it as artists. Yeah, of course. And that's how everyone's I, on an equal playing ground. Yeah, with you. we're all, we're all equal at the end of the day. And I know that there's stuff going on behind the scenes, um, but that doesn't involve me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when I'm working with someone, I know that they got issues going on. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like I'm just here to do my job. Yeah, those aren't my issues. <laughs> yeah, and I should be professional about it and continue to do my job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And support the people that I'm also shooting with because. Mm. It would make no sense for me to shoot someone and not support support yeah, them. Of so, uh, yeah. I always see you on Instagram posting. Yeah. Like people are always asking you pretty much mm-hmm. the same questions. Like, mm. why are you working with the opposition? Yeah. Why are you working with ops? It's like, yeah. Bitch, how many times do you have to address that? <laughs> yeah, and like in saying that as well, like probably majority of them they're all young kids. Yeah, yeah. and they wouldn't know <laughs> the history yeah. about it. As I said, social media is one of the ones that kind of pushes part, you, yeah. you know, pushes you to choose a side. Mm. Yeah. Um, so that's up to you if you want to choose a side. But how I see it is, I'm just trying to, yes, make money, but also trying to support mm. as many people, like as many artists, yeah, as I can. Because at the end of the day, we're, we're all the same. Hundred. Yeah. Especially since that there's a lot of um, Pacific Islanders that are coming out. Yeah. A lot of those, they're, they're, they're making music. So mm-hmm. we should be supporting each other. Yes, we yeah. should. Yeah, That's but like, also yeah. to an extent that is, because as I said, people have their issues. Yeah. And I understand that. Like, I get it. It's um, just like a lot of beef in the back. Like, yeah. But besides that, like, you know, they, it's so crazy if like, they knew how good they would be together. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. it's so yeah. crazy. Imagine yeah. how you could just bring each other mm. up. I mean... But yeah. I do understand, like, the backstory, yeah. like, and everything. So, yeah. it's just, like, a hard hard thing to deal with. Yeah. But hopefully it can change, you know? Yeah. yeah mm. For sure. It's very tricky, but um, that's a part of the reason why we started this mm-hmm. podcast. Yeah. We want to yeah. break those barriers yeah. and... You know, not force anyone, but yeah, just to, no just to put out the information and knowledge yeah. of mm. you know others yeah. that come on, and just you know let everyone make their own choice. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. to show just a little bit of an them. example yeah. that you can support anybody you like just because it doesn't agree with someone else that you don't support. Mm-hmm. Mm. Everything's fine. Yeah, hundred yeah, yeah, percent. Sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in saying that as well, um, working with one four, he's one of the craziest people you've have come across. Like. Um, Oh, like, how do I say it? Like, not craziest, but, like, um, who's someone that you've met and you were like, wow, or, like, you know, can't believe I met them. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, like a yeah. starstruck moment yeah. kind of thing? Yeah. Mm, I'd say, like, since reflecting back on it, it would be uh, Kid Leroy. Oh, nice. So, He's, I can't you see you. Know, <laughs> I didn't know his music until I was with um, one of my mates. 
and then they actually introduced me to his music, and mm. I listened to it, and I was like, wow, he's so deep, hey? What song was it? Um, was it Disconnect? I, I think it was Wish. Is it? Uh, I forgot what song it was. Wow, I feel bad. <laughs> was it no. You're a Liar? No. <laughs> <laughs> was it, I wasn't listening? No. <laughs> nah. yeah, no, it was massive. one of his songs, but it was so yeah. crazy. Yeah. It was so good. And he's so deep. Yeah. Like, very deep. Yeah, shout yeah. out to Kid Leroy. Shout out to shout him. Out. Bass, man. Mm. Where did yeah. you meet her? Yeah. yeah I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so it was at... Uh, so it was at the Juice World concert. Ooh. Oh, okay. So Ooh. Kid Leroy was um, the opening act. Was, where was that at? Was that at? Um, that was somewhere in the city. Mm. I forgot where it was. But yeah. it's... Um, yeah, I forgot where it was. But it was somewhere in the city. Um... But yeah, so that that was like the first time I've I've met Kid Leroy, mm. um, and he bought him one four to do a yeah. show with him. So so that was crazy as well, mm. like <laughs> like having an unannounced guest like yeah. rock up and have everybody go crazy for them as mm. well. Like that was that was intense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. You covered so much ground over this last year. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, good on you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> That's so crazy. Are you cheating? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, hard work pays nice. off, eh? Yeah, 100. Yeah. I actually have one more question mm, yeah. before. It's just about the area thing again. Yeah. Um, while you're working, has there been a time where the area stuff has came into work? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so um, there was question. an instant where we were shooting a music video and this video is actually on Instagram as well, like... <laughs> I think it got leaked or someone gave it to somebody, but... Is this um, one with yeah. MA Rated? Yes. Yeah. It was shooting with um, MA Rated. And there was a part where we were in Parramatta. And we are just minding our own business. Like, mm. MA is just trying to do his thing as well. Mm. And these guys just walked up to us. And they were just asking um, MA if we are from the area. Yeah, like out of nowhere. Like we're trying to mind our own business, trying to make yeah. this um, music video. Minding our own business. Yeah, in, in Parramatta. Like I'm pretty sure it's a free country, but, you know. <laughs> Literally, there are people like out there. It's Parramatta. Yeah, Seriously. you know. And, and then again, like I do understand all this area stuff, but when you're trying to put out work, when you're trying to work mm. with somebody mm. and then have someone just like turn up, are you guys from the area? Like what are we supposed to do? Yeah. 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 What do you do? There's no manual for it. Yeah, and, and there isn't. So, unfortunately, there was a fight that broke up. No or way. Broke out. Um, so, it was like, I think six boys and like three three other boys. And it was crazy. Mm. Um, but like, I, I expected that kind of stuff. Because mm. I know what the scene is like. Yeah. Um, so, it wasn't um, scary. Like, I was just standing there. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, I thought I would be, like, running for the hills. But yeah. literally, I was standing there because I was shocked that it was happening. Did like, you take some photos of the... <laughs> no, I didn't. Did you, get, did you leak the footage? <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, my I didn't. gosh. No. <laughs> Is that why you're ballied up? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, it, it, it was crazy. Like, I was just standing there. Like, the fight is happening right in front of me. Mm. I didn't even move. Like, someone was trying to, like, move me to, like, a safer distance. Yeah. I was just mm. like, no. Like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> I want to fight. No. <laughs> Don't touch me. No. Like, I would. <laughs> I would if someone touched me. No. Yeah. You have to. You got to yeah. defend yourself. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? It, it was honestly one of the craziest nights, and we had to get out, like, mm. ASAP. Mm. Um, so that kind of kind of made me realise how dangerous it is mm. for, like... I guess artists just to be out trying to make their money, oh, trying to yeah. make, yeah. make yeah. their music videos, because like that wasn't the only instant. <laughs> oh no way! Ooh, yeah, tell so us more. <laughs> there was like another instant as well, and this this was in the city. Like we were in the city. Who are you with? Oh, um, yeah. I was if with this. Say. Uh, yeah, say it. No. This, <laughs> I was with this other artist, and yeah. she was a girl. So it was a girl. Oh wow! Um, and we we're in the city. I'm literally looking at the Harbour Bridge, yeah. and like. These guys just came up to us and was just asking, oh, you guys from the area? Mm. I was just like, not again. <laughs> yeah. We're from the not no again. Artists. Oh, my and, gosh. Yeah, and like, because the girl was shooting um, the music video that she was shooting and mm. there was a guy next to her inside the car that they were shooting in. Oh, my gosh. So, I remember you telling us this. Yeah, yes. so people thought that it was the guy 
that was the artist. Mm. Yeah. And, like, oh, he just remember, kept... Yeah. 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 And the guy just kept asking questions, like, what areas are you guys from? Like, who's the artist? And all this mm. kind of stuff. And I just turned around and I was just like, it's the girl that's the artist. Mm. Like, what are you trying to suss out? Like, we're just out here trying to... Yep. Trying to put in this work for her yeah. to make a music video. Yeah. And they're out here trying to ask, like, where are you guys from? Mm. Yeah. And, like, mind you, again, we're in the city. I'm looking at the Hub Bridge. Like, yeah. It's, 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 like, it's just crazy, That's how far you know? the area beef goes. Yeah. yeah. Like, that, like, that's, that's how far we go. And, like, mm. how freaking... <laughs> Like, <laughs> like, I'm mad, but I'm not mad because I understand, yeah. right? Mm. Um, and that's the difference between, like, knowing what's going on and understanding. Yeah, 100%. Um, because, like, I don't mean no disrespect to everyone who's got their area of beef mm. going on, but being there trying to work, mm. as I said before, and trying to help this artist, trying to put a music video out. It makes yeah. it harder. Yeah, it yeah. makes it hard. Like, sometimes it makes them think, like, oh, maybe we shouldn't be out. Mm. Yeah. Like maybe we should like come to an enclosed area where no one yeah. can see us. Yeah, just being a little bit more like hesitant. Yeah, kind of thing or second, second yeah. guessing things. And then that's also made me kind of realize that, bro, I need to learn how to fight. Because <laughs> like I would be surprised if like if I was at a shoot with someone and a fight broke out, and there was only like two people there against like five boys. Yeah, like we obviously know what's gonna happen. Like, mm. then two guys are gonna get jumped. Yeah, yeah. And like I need to know. Like, how to protect myself, you know? Because even if I'm just working, like, I'm going to be part of it as well. Oh, 100. Like, there, there comes a point where you have to, I guess, back everyone mm. that you're working with. Yeah. No matter what it is. Yeah. So There's room for everybody. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, make sure you're safe when you go out. <laughs> you don't want anything <laughs> happening to you on these video <laughs> sheets. Make Look, sure you get a security guard. Yeah, some security. <laughs> <laughs> Miyako, go with you. Miyako. <laughs> oh, what am I? Up? No. <laughs> What's he gonna say? Him nah. <laughs> <laughs> himself. <laughs> um, yeah, that's so, crazy. You know those incidents like that. It's it, it's taught me a lot. Yeah. Like again, it's taught me a lot of like life lessons mm. and yeah. what kind of people are out there in this scene. Mm. Yeah. Like it doesn't have to be. Um, it's not like your everyday thing. Like mm. you know why people are there. It's this. Yeah. It's the music scene. Yeah. yeah. Like the music scene are pushing these people to kind of figure out what what area you're from. Yeah. So Clout chasing as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So has it ever affected you so bad where you where you've actually cancelled or said no um, to a person? I think it the only thing that um that's affected me is the fact that there are people I won't work with. Mm. Um and that's for not really my own safety, but still going back on respect. Yeah. Yeah. Like there there are certain people that I wouldn't Shoot for mm. yeah. because I'm still worrying about the boys that I used to shoot for. Yeah, yeah. So, and how do you kind of address that situation if they were to like Approach if they're going to reach out to you? Yeah, like what uh, would you usually say to them? Yeah, at the moment, like no one has reached out to me, so I think they feel the same as well. Okay, oh, yeah. Because yeah. you know, if you're shooting someone else or if you shot someone before, mm. some sometimes people don't want to work with you. Yeah, yeah. And I understand that. Mm. Um, but if it did come down to it, then. I would probably say I don't feel comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not any disrespect to them, yeah. but it's just respect to the boys that I've been working with. Mm. Has um, there oh sorry. Yeah, you keep going. No, that's okay. Um I was just gonna ask you, has there ever been a time where you've come across an artist that you've worked with and they've been rude to you or like shown you like no th- like respect? Uh not at all. Mm. So that's that's been one of the things that um has really helped me mm. like be comfortable in like who I'm shooting with is that a lot of these people they respect me because of the work that I do. Yeah. Yeah. They sure. don't 100. they don't see me as um being friends with like, you know, the mm. ops or whatever yeah. might whatever you'll say. Mm. Um they just see me as a photographer and they see my work. Yes. Um so having like people who are not in twenty seven mm. like know that they've seen my work, mm. know like where my photos have been and yeah. been like appreciative of it, that's been um, one of kind of the greatest things yeah. and feelings to have mm. to know that you know this is actually fine. 100. Like I can do this. Mm. Like I don't. I don't have to be about one Sides, side. Yeah. Yeah. Like I can share my talent with everybody. Mm. That's so good. Yeah. Who yeah, knows? Nah. Let's jump into Q and A's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You yeah. want to jump into Q and A's? Yeah. Let's go. Want to jump into Q and A's? Yeah. All right. 
Okay, I got the first question, guys. Yes, you do. Did you bring the hard drive? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? <laughs> the hard drive. The hard drive, the good stuff on it, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With all the secret uh, stuff. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't know where I got that one, Bill. Like, you know, I was, I was like, ask that did you bring the hard I forgot what the bloody hard drive was called. But oh, mate. <laughs> one. The hard drive is not going to see one. the sun. <laughs> What was that you're showing us after this? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? We're looking at to the from the area. Oh, no. <laughs> it's going to be playing right here, guys. Bianca's going to blow it up right here. <laughs> Here's this exclusive clip. No. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. Can you yeah, nah. Right. <laughs> you want me to do it? No, yeah, so this was actually a question that I wanted to ask you as well. Yep. But this one is from... I R F double X N underscore. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And the question is, what is the best artist to work with? And like, pretty much, what, who is the best artist that you've had the best experience with? Yeah. Working with. Um, that's like a no-brainer. It's definitely one for. Oh yeah. um, yes. Because no they're they're my beginning to mm. all this. That's why I have so much respect and love for them. Yeah. yeah. They will always be, um, kind of like a staple, in. Yeah. And like mm. the the work that I've done for the music scene. Yeah. Um, whenever I get, uh, what was your favorite to shoot? Spot the difference. That's yes. where I started. Who's like the best that you've worked with and experienced? One for like <laughs> everything that's got to do with my beginning, I give it all to them. Mm. So oh, I would always say them. That's what a humble girl. We got a humble girl. <laughs> I mean, ah, a humble person. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is from James. Shout out to Shout James. Out to James. <laughs> Hiding behind the camera. <laughs> <clears throat> so he asked, why do you feel there is a lack of Polynesian photographers? Mm. Great question. Wait, what was the question again? Uh, why do you feel there's a lack of Polynesian photographers? Actually, that's a good question because I was thinking about that. Yeah. Um, I wanted to talk about all the Pacific Islanders that are, off, that are photographers where are you guys? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sorry to say it like that, but what I mean is that we have a platform right now. Yeah. There, there are, like, yes. moves for us to actually work in. Hundreds. And I'm not seeing enough of us come out. Like, I know there's probably, like, a lot of photographers, like, Pacific Island photographers, who are doing portraits or events and stuff. Mm. And I know some of them probably want to get into the music scene. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Like, if you want to shoot with... I don't know if you can shoot with one four, but if you want to shoot with other artists, there's no harm in just asking. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's what I did. And networking is one of the biggest things that would help you and push you in your career. And sustain yourself. Yeah. So that's what I did. I did a lot of networking with um, a lot of different artists. Yeah. And all I did was just ask. I was like, hey, I'm a photographer. I've been shooting for however long. Yeah. Um, I would love to do, like, portraits with you or anything like that. Like, mm. I just said that. And they'll come back to you and they'll either say yes or no. Yeah. 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 Majority of the time, they'll say yes. Yeah. yeah. Because so, who wouldn't want something like yeah. that? Yeah. Like, you're exchanging your time for photos, mm -hmm. like, with this artist. And they'll do anything to help you oh, if you want to kind of start out in that, yeah. in that field. Yeah. So, for, for all the Pacific Islanders, photographers, videographers, if you want to make, like, your mark in this music scene, mm. now's the time. Yes, one hundred percent. Because there's there is a lot of new artists that are coming out. Mm. There should be a lot of new creatives as well. Yeah. yeah, and that should give you the drive to to get yourself in there. Yeah, true. Mm. Yeah, beautiful. I love Beautifully that. said. Yeah. <laughs> um. So we got another question from mm -hmm. James. Shout out to James. <laughs> We're just gonna read all his questions. Yeah, the yeah. support is real over here. Um. I didn't like push these to get answered on the podcast. Guys. <laughs> You're twisting his ear. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote from his page, eh? No. Um, so, being in the industry that you're in at the mm -hmm. moment, um, and also we're working with so many males in the industry, mm -hmm. um, is there ever a time that you felt like you've been seen less than, like, a photographer than males? <laughs> because I asked the property because it says a lady. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Like, do you want me to say, like, as a woman? 
as a being. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to save it for like? No, I don't mind. You can save it now. Okay, sweet. Sorry. Finally, <laughs> like it's gonna make it easier. Okay. Um, <laughs> so this question was asked by James. Shout out to James. <laughs> um, so it says, as a woman, are you also seen less than a male photographer in the industry? Bro, I'm trying to understand that question. <laughs> like, does that make sense? Do you want to say it? Like, you know, like. Because you're a lady, like, mm. you know, being a... Like, there's not enough girls in the industry, or...? Like, just working with men, mm. like, are you ever seen as less, like, than oh. a photographer? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, I don't think so at all. Like, um, a lot of these artists, they're really professional. Yeah. Um, so they see you as equal. Mm. Yeah. And they see me as equal. They see me as someone who's just there to do my job. Yeah. Like, they, they don't treat me any less, like... Yeah. If anything, we're bros. <laughs> like, yeah. we're, we're, we're already close. Yeah. Like, I might just see them for the first time. Yeah. But mm. we're, we're already talking. Like, we've, we've known each other for years. Mm. Yeah. And, like, that's the, the relationship and friendship that I want to have with, with everyone, everyone new that I'm meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Is that we're comfortable enough to, to see each other as equals, to see each other as professionals. Mm. One being the artist and one being the photographer. Yeah. Um, so I don't see myself less than mm. any of them or they don't see me less than as well. Yeah. We're, we're all seen like That's equal. Yeah. 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 That's so good. Beautiful. Nice. I love the way you answer your question. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I've been practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Just jokes. I got yeah. them today. <laughs> yeah, so this one's another one from James. Let's go. Yeah, James. <laughs> Welcome to the James Q&A. <laughs> <laughs> So he has asked, what is the origin behind your name? What's the meaning of your name? Yeah, so my name, Kumahani, is from my mum's sister. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a combination of her best friend's names put together. Oh, yeah. um, oh okay. So it's like Kume and like Hani. So yeah. kind of... Put it together. Yeah, and, no, yeah. that's pretty cool. Come so, on, honey. <laughs> so that's my name. Don't worry it out. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, this was um, a question sent in by MC Pistol. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> shout out. <laughs> um, so he asks, if you weren't doing photography, what would you be doing instead? Uh, that's a nice good question. question. Mm. Um, I guess if I take it back to school, I actually wanted to be a chef. Ooh. Ooh. I wanted to cook. Nice. <laughs> so, so you're a good cook? Oh no, nah, I'm horrible. But <laughs> <laughs> but that's what you Lucky wanted to do. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lucky I take photos and not flip pants, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, that's what I wanted to be when when I was in high school. Like mm. I did hospitality just to to kind of like learn to be a cook and get into the hospitality industry. Yeah. But I'm kind of glad I didn't because, yeah, who wants yeah. to do that? <laughs> <laughs> then you wouldn't be on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I wouldn't be anybody. <laughs> yeah. Well, next week, Kumahani is going to be cooking for us. So we're going to do a taste test. We have a cooking show coming. <laughs> Sponsored by McDonald's. <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> And um, this question is from James also. Yeah, the James. <laughs> yeah, so James asked, is there a reason why you would be behind the camera and not in front of the camera? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Love that. <laughs> also, I just wanted to ask, how do you feel being in front of the camera? Bus- uh, bellied up. <laughs> well, I, I hate photos. Like, I hate mm. being in them. Yeah. Um, that's why I guess I'm the photographer. I'm always behind it. Yeah. I've just never been the one to just take selfies and you know all that kind of stuff like I'm just not big on it mm. yeah. and um like a lot of people like I have self-confidence issues as well mm. yeah like not saying that I don't want everybody to see me but I just in in my line of work like you see my photos mm. yeah. you don't see my face mm-hmm. you just see the stuff that I create and I'd rather everybody just stick to that to see that yeah, yeah. like there will be a time you'll probably see me if you pay me to shoot you but you know <laughs> gonna be bellied up anyway yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like yeah just just coming on here it, it's been like nerve wracking yeah. um but to be able to cover myself because mm. i feel more confident not being in the yeah. limelight i guess um it makes me all right to sit here and, and talk to you guys yeah um I, I just i'm not really big on like being in front of the camera mm. at all yeah. no that's okay and, yeah that's yeah. fine i just yeah, and yeah. I've always um, respected, like, creative 100. people that mm. yeah. have chosen to do that route. Like, mm. yeah. 
someone that I could probably think of now is like Sia. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know what? Like I was going to say that too. Yeah. 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 Like it's yeah. always, to me, it's always been really inspiring because yeah. she's mm. just like you, I feel, is that you're letting your work speak. And yeah. And you're not attaching your self-image to your work. Yeah. yeah. And, oh shit, sorry. No, it's right. Yeah, I just think that it's cool. If I ever wanted to like, <laughs> come out in the industry, I would definitely do something like mm. that. Well. Yeah. And, like, a lot of people, like, they always ask if they're ever going to get, like, a face reveal. Like, you know, one day you probably will. Mm. Um, but just at the moment, I feel comfortable just letting my my work speak for itself yeah. Yeah. so yeah. good on you for that honestly and i don't want to be pressured into like trying to yeah. give people the satisfaction to see my face yeah. good like, on you. <clears throat> what about <laughs> if we do a yp review <laughs> we're going on our balcony up there <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna record you he said he was actually saying that in my dm they're just like why don't you just do it in the beginning face reveal i was just like yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh maybe <laughs> we're doing but, it tonight <laughs> no. yeah <laughs> Like I just I just don't want to be pressured yeah. to like give people what they want to see. Mm. Like, yeah, do it on your I own. I don't time. care if you want to see my face. Like there's there's been a lot of chances where I'm in someone's stories. Yeah. yeah. Like you just gotta know where you're looking. Yes. Yeah. And like right Yeah. So I'll post it up after these guys. <laughs> and <laughs> got a like, face shot. <laughs> <laughs> and I get DMs from our friends saying, mm. Oh, they just dropped your face. Like mm. they know how I feel yeah. about my face being out mm. there. And I was just like, that's fine. Because mm. I know, like, some people who follow me, they don't follow the person where yeah. the story's coming from. Yeah. So you need to actually look mm. for me, pretty yeah. much. And I'm out there. Yeah. But Where's Wally? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Where's Kume? <But> <laughs> <laughs> most of the time, I just, I just like to be, like, alone, I guess. Yeah. And not out there in mm. public. Because yeah. at the end of the day, I'm, I'm a photographer. Like, if I yeah. was an artist, I'll probably be like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be like this. Get yeah, I'll still. be buying your music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it's all for personal reasons. Mm. Like, it's it's nothing that I'm trying to hide from somebody mm. or anything like that. It's just, it, it's personal. Yeah. yeah. And, that, and that's all it is. Would yeah. you say you're a confident person? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not confident at all, but I'm working on being confident. Yeah. Mm. But do you feel like that plays a big part in it? Yeah. yeah. So, like, the lack of confidence that I have right now to, like, show everybody my face, mm. that that's one of it. Yeah. But... During like the last couple of months, I'm actually working on gaining that confidence. Yeah, good on you, because so, you're yeah. beautiful. Like, <laughs> yes. man, your beauty Thank shines you. with it. Like, yeah. Yeah. In, like you know. So good on you for that. Like taking your time with it and learning to grow with it. Yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you. you for coming yeah. on to our podcast. Honestly, no, yeah. that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Just hang out with us. Your confidence is getting through the roof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I feel like I can relate because, bro, like with with these two, mm. I'm like not confident. Like yeah. you know, the camera will come and I'm like, fuck. Like yeah, I'm yeah. Fat today. Like you know. Yeah. I'm like, you know, it's this, like, you need to just, like, love yourself, everything like yeah. that. So, like, good on you. Like, take your time with it. Yeah. Good on you. Man, I hope, like, the top, when the time comes, you know, like, it'll be so good for you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. hard out. <laughs> good on you. Like, hard. even just off what you said, mm. like, I know a lot of people Oi. think <laughs> yeah. no. this isn't true. No, it's but, true. Bitch, I yeah. have, like... It's true. I'm very... Mm weird about my confidence mm. but a lot of people think that I just have this mm. massive bigger confidence yeah but, but if you see me hucker behind yeah he's like, yeah. like yeah. every episode I'm wearing makeup <laughs> because I don't like the way that I look yeah you know yeah. I mean? yeah so I really appreciate you coming mm. out with that and because I know a lot of people don't even <laughs> want to talk about that you yeah know what I mean? And we've got these bitches <laughs> laughing at me. <laughs> no, because he's so out there, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, him just yeah. saying it. But it is true. Like, mm. there's days where Mihaka doesn't feel himself. Days. Yeah. yeah. And, and I think, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I think that's the thing with, the, with a lot of people. Like, mm. you can feel confident at, at, like, one time in your life. Yeah. Mm. It doesn't mean you're confident every time. Oh, yes. yes. Exactly. Preach. Like, T- having confidence takes time. Mm. Yeah. Like you need to to find the self to love yourself and love others, oh, and find that confidence first before doing whatever you mm. want. Mm-hmm. Um, and mine is like t- taking this off. Yeah. So it's gonna take take me time to appreciate who mm. I am, mm-hmm. um, and all that kind of stuff mm. in order for me to actually show everybody mm. who I am. Yeah. But again, at the end of the day, like my face doesn't matter. Yeah, and like I know everybody that that follows me on Instagram, they they support me because of my work. Yeah, and that's how it should be. Mm. Like I don't want to be on Instagram because my face is out there. Mm. I don't want people following me because they know what I look like. Yeah, um, I'm a photographer. Follow yeah. me for my work, and I know a lot of people mm. do so that. So this is another question from James. Shout out to James. <laughs> All yeah, James. Great questions. <laughs> 
So, in, who inspires you? Who inspires your artwork in the mm. in your career? Mm. Uh, that's a good question. Um, I don't think like only one person inspires me. Like I'm inspired by the whole movement and by everybody. Like whoever I'm shooting, they inspire me to either be better or they inspire me to create like quality content mm. either for themselves or for the next person I'm shooting with. Yeah. So it's not just one person. It's literally everyone that I've met. They've all inspired me in some way to keep doing what I'm doing. Mm. Nice. Yeah. And what about for, like, photography-wise, like, is there someone who you kind of, you know, been following your whole career or <clears throat> a photographer that you admire? Uh, to be honest, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, <laughs> just me. <laughs> the, the only thing <laughs> that inspires me is the word candid. Oh, okay. Like, like candid. candid. So oh, I yeah. like to take candid photos mm. and a lot of music scenes... Um, because we're doing music videos, a lot of mm. that stuff is candid. candid. Yeah. Like, they're not performing for me. Mm. I'm just there to capture the moment. Yeah. 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 And I love watching people. Like, I always try to, like, anticipate what the next move is yeah. so I can get that photo. Yeah. Oh, okay. um, so like I like to... Them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the only thing that inspires me is that word candid because mm. I love yeah. to take stuff where people don't even realise that I'm yeah. Yeah. either looking at them or shooting them. Do you want to yeah. kind of just give context to what that actually is? Yeah, so candid is just like, uh, it's hard to like say. It's just like in the moment of things. Mm. Yeah. Like not like posed or not like as planned or, yeah, yeah. not planned or anything. It, yeah, mm. it's just like in the moment taking photos of what's actually going on in front of you and not telling, telling someone to like stand a specific way oh, or okay. yeah. anything like that. Like that word candid has been like a staple in like all my work mm, yeah. and it's not just the music scene where you see that it's like my weddings and yeah. like events and portraits mm. and stuff yeah. like I, I don't like posing people I don't like putting them into a position where I had to take the photos yeah. I'd rather just like follow them and talk to them and try mm. and just take the photos like that yeah. because those kind of photos they mean a lot more yeah. And, like, people say, like, photos are, like, a thousand words. Yeah. And that's what I see with, like, some of the, the photos that I take. Yeah. And generally, they're just all because it's candid. Mm. Yeah, organic and yeah. genuine. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. I think that's something that I really like about your yeah. work as well. Thank you. Like, um, I was telling, like, the Uso Table Talk. Mm. I was telling them, like... I think I might have even told you as well. I was like, I love the way yeah. that you captured all of them. Yeah. yeah. Like, shout out to the Also Table yeah, Talk. Yeah, shout, shout out to the Also Table Talk. Yeah. 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 We love you guys. Oi, Much hard. love to them. <laughs> Check out their podcast, guys. Yeah. Yes. They're great. They're great. Yeah. yeah, just the way that you shot them. I yeah, was like, wow. it was like, so good. Oi, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. And it was so, so natural. Yeah, yeah, so natural. Yeah. Loved it. So yeah. that's the, I guess that's what um, inspires me, motivates yeah. me. Yeah. It's just the word candid. Mm. Yeah. And, like, I don't have one specific photographer. Um, I like a lot of photographers who shoot that style, mm. who shoot just candid, because mm -hmm. that's, that's the type of work that I like to remain shooting. Yeah. yeah. It's just to extend that question a little bit, sorry. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Um, you know when you're saying you always try and kind of, um, like, focus in on what they're going to do next mm -hmm. so you can capture that mm -hmm. moment? Yeah. Just speaking on Spenny, since he's such a high energy person, how yeah. hard is it to capture, like, read what he's going to do? Oh, that, that's so funny. I think there was a moment in Spot the Difference where he tried to break the bottle and the bottle the didn't Hennessy? break. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Go he Spenny, tried to man. break it. <laughs> and, like, I didn't expect that. Yeah. Like, I was just watching him and then... Like, in some of my photos, I didn't even get that because <laughs> I wasn't focusing on him. Yeah. So that in itself, like, that's that's a candid moment. Yeah, yeah. that's like so that's funny. That's a moment you want to shoot because it's yeah. not planned. Yeah. And, like, I wasn't even ready for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, like, he tried to break it and it didn't break. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that was funny. More that was really muscle. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to the Uso, man. Yeah, shout yeah. out to <laughs> Spenny. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. So I have this question. It's from Slippin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this question is, what's the most rewarding part of what you do? Oh, yeah, that's such nice. a good question. I love that's a good that question. question. Shout out to uh, Slippin. Yeah. The most rewarding part is actually being recognised. Um, yeah. And it's not by face. It's by telling someone what my name is. Mm. And they're just oh, like, yeah. oh, you're... So you're oh, the person behind that account. I love that. Like, yeah. 
like with Pistol Pete and Enzo, mm. like they didn't know who I was when oh, I was with really? them the first time that yeah. I shot with yeah. them. It wasn't until I told Pistol Pete that my name is this, and he's just like, oh my God, like I've seen you walk <laughs> yeah. around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like people know who I yeah. am, and it's just by my name. Mm. Good on you. And like that's, that's probably so the most. Crazy. Yeah, it's the most rewarding thing, yeah. like yeah. just to have people recognize you, so even deserved. though I don't have a mm. face to my account. Yeah. 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 It's just the name. Yeah. So that, that's been cool to have, like, a lot of people be like, oh, my God, it's you. I was like, yeah, yeah. it's me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah me and me, I can't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what it's oh, okay. <laughs> like, that's me. I'm not a boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a girl. I'm a girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. Um, so we'll end with this question. Mm-hmm. So this was sent in by Amira. Mm-hmm. Amara, yeah, sorry if I got your name wrong. <laughs> um, so I said, what are your goals in the next five to ten years' time? That's a good question. Yeah. Um, so I'm wanting to start getting into, like, videography. Ooh, so nice. So hopefully I Watch can Watch out, start. maxed out films. <laughs> 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 fight, fight, fight. <laughs> Battle of the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm really hoping that I could get um, into doing videos mm. and making videos. Um, like I've always loved film as well. Like I still love yeah. film to this day. And I hope in like the next five to ten years that I'm not only shooting like music videos, but yeah. I'm also behind like film industries. Oh, and, like, oh bro, man. that's so you exciting. Because we know you can. Achieve. Yeah, that's so cool. Because we know you can achieve it. Yeah. So yeah. Thank you. You know what I mean? We can only. Um, just wait, just a matter of time. Oh yeah, man, so you're gonna blow this world up. Yeah, <laughs> you're what taking else? us with you. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> we made you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, hundred percent. All the best for your future endeavors, thank you. honestly. All the best. And thank, thank you. you so much for coming on the podcast. Yeah. That's okay. Thanks thank for having you. me. Yeah. Oh no worries. No, like you're coming family. back. <laughs> <laughs> you are coming back. I'll be sure. the number fourth person to join from the ground up now. Yeah. <laughs> you have to fight Alex for that one. <laughs> Alex. Okay. But before you go, before we all go, actually, yeah. um, did you want to reveal your gender? Yeah. <laughs> well, I know we, we have S- dropped it yeah. throughout the episode. Uh, yeah, so um, I know, like... <laughs> Do you want us to put the lights on oh. you? <laughs> oh! oh. Tune in next time for a face review. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys, the camera's died. Do you want to reveal your gender? Cut. <laughs>